Hey yo, what is up? Just a quick update video for you guys today. Um, some quick news about Halloween event. Mirini 13 is coming back again. The news has been dropped on the portal. There is no specific date uh, on the Mirini 13 event for 2021, but uh, I suppose it's going to be coming within the next one or two weeks uh, because all the the news has been leaking out so far and uh, let's talk a little bit about uh, Mirni 2021 we'll watch a little bit of the video and I'll try to talk over it and share with you uh, what's going on in uh, Mirni 2021 if it's going to be anything like uh, the Halloween event from 2020 uh, Mirni 13 uh, basically we're going to play in five different tanks uh, with five other play with four other players and uh, basically in a team of five uh, there is a special map last year it was a ghost town this year I don't know what is it going to be maybe it's not going to be ghost town but uh, it could be ghost town again but basically it's a ghost town with a dark theme uh, things are floating in the sky there's stuff floating around there are ghost tanks uh, driving around basically uh, kind of like a eerie dark mode uh, in world of tanks uh, you fight waves and waves of uh, enemies that uh, you know play in groups and they come in waves and each wave gets stronger and stronger uh, each each of your five tanks that you can play in um, has a commander uh, that you need to level up by grinding and earning coins uh, which you can then uh, use to spend in the halloween store basically so last year it was the the five tanks were the 1390 the centurion the m103 the t54 and the t49 uh, if you remember the three of those tanks were free to play basically you log in those three tanks were ready to go and then there were two tank two tanks that were uh kind of like locked uh behind the paywall you need to either buy um uh, use gold or something to buy uh the rights to play those two tanks i think it was the t49 and the m103 or something like that i'm not sure which were the two locked tanks but basically you need to it was locked behind a paywall or you can play a couple of missions and then you will be able to play those tanks so uh those were the five tanks and that is the end of that video and uh basically you can spend your coins on the five commanders um because you can get those five commanders uh in your garage uh with three skills uh so you earn those coins you grind those coins and you get those five commanders uh, which is really good if you need commanders with three skills uh, so basically there are five commanders with three skills and then there's five skins for all the five tanks uh, which means skins for 1390 m103 t54 t49 um, maybe this year it's going to be a different set of tanks maybe instead of the 1390 it's going to be the ru251 perhaps uh, maybe it's going to be you know some other tier 9 tank i don't know for sure but this is what happened last year now if i recall correctly last year in the game mode there was a mechanic where your crews had a limit to how many times they can be played they would get sick they would get poisoned or something like that and then there was a cooldown. you had to wait like 24 hours or something like that i think you can play you know those free tanks maybe two three times or something like that before they got sick and then you need to play another tank uh, but you could buy a medikit so that you could revive your commanders and then you could continue playing them for the rest of the day but again you need to spend gold or credits uh, in order to get that med kit uh, if i'm not mistaken and then there was also uh, uh, there was also some uh levels of play that you can pick from there was level one level two level three uh 
of course level one is the low risk level very easy to win but the rewards were of course uh, you earn less coins or something like that you earn less uh less rewards when you're playing the easiest level if you play level two or level three of course you know high higher risk missions means you could earn more rewards but the missions were more difficult to complete uh again the level one missions were easy level two and level three were progressively uh more difficult the game itself was uh pretty straightforward and quick to pick up there was some uh, some consumables you could buy to improve your performance like 20,000 credits for a shield like a, a, a dome over your tank that protect your tank for a certain amount of time and then there was a turbo kit for 3,000 credits and a med kit for 3,000 credits this year's Muni however I don't know what is going on with this Colonel Gromov and who is this Hope I don't know what they do maybe these are the two commanders that you could get at the end of the event spend your credits on to get these two commanders i'm not too sure about it i'm just making a wild guess um doesn't say much about it but there is some new tanks going on here compared to last year uh this is of course the enemy tanks you remember the the hedgehog hedgehog uh this is basically the the rolling minefield I call it the burning ball sack because it caught fire while it was rolling towards you. Uh, this year, you've got the hedgehog, the burning balls, aka burning ball sack, but you also have a new burning ball sack. This burning ball sack, if you destroy it, it will give birth to several hedgehogs. How many more hedgehogs? I don't know. So basically, you have your standard burning ball sack which is this one from last year and now you have a new burning ball sack which give birth uh, gives birth to baby ball sacks so baby burning ball sacks so how many of them i don't know but uh, yeah basically so this is the new uh, uh this new ball sack is new the next one is th the same thing the rabbit this is a looks basically doesn't do much damage but it's a real nuisance driving around and you know basically fucking up your day um looks like the m103 has become the enemy now uh, last year we drove these tanks i don't remember if we faced these tanks as enemies but anyway this year we have um an enemy in the m103 the next tank is the e50 i suppose tier 9 um last year you got one of these skins um the whatever skins you call it revenant or something like that uh that you got as a reward uh for your e50 and your e50m uh, one of the rewards anyway that you could get with a token or something or you open a loot box or whatever i don't really remember uh and uh, this is of course the sentinel tanks uh, this is basically a kv2 uh they are stationary they don't have any tracks they are halfway buried into the ground don't need to worry too much about these tanks if i recall correctly nobody cared about this tank and the last tank is of course the immortal the immortal remember was a huge tank it had a laser pointer that pointed at you and fired at you you knew when he was looking at you uh it it didn't really do it wasn't really too much trouble as long as you stayed away from it if you were you know going near it then you were probably asking for trouble so basically that's the news that i have for you for mirni 13 2021 uh the next bit of news that i have for you just a little bit of some of the uh rewards which is uh this little sticker which is the burning ball sack with a pumpkin next to its side this is like a decal or a sticker and uh, yeah that's one of the rewards that you will earn from mirni 13 event and then there's this uh style or camo which is also going to be part of the uh, reward i assume uh, more of this style and reward you will cycle through as much yeah and uh, let's see it on another tank which is the french tank 
So basically, that's the news that I have for you. Uh, Mirni 13 coming next week or the week after. Not too sure. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching this video. I will see you on the next one. Bye-bye.